First up, we've got NVIDIA rallying above a key level today and extending a four-day win streak up nearly 20% this week. Your trade on that beloved stock. On that beloved stock, Tyler, I'm going to tell you to buy it cautiously if you don't own it. You've got to wade into that water. This is the hottest area of the market. As long as the race for AI and this battle to continue to create AI continues, this stock's going to do well. They're still looking for like 40% growth in earnings from this company over the next five years. It's gone from 48 times earnings, 2024 earnings, to 34 times next year and coming down with this large earnings growth. So uh, it's, it's, it's performed beautifully well. It's uh, a cyclical area. It probably has a few years left. But the AI impetus that's driving those earnings, I think, can take this stock higher, even at a $3 trillion market cap. So if you want to establish a position, this is a dollar cost average in. I think so. I mean, this is if you have a blank in this space, I would want to have a position. It doesn't have to be a full position. And it has to be keeping, in keeping with your investment discipline and philosophy. So it can't be an appropriate risk for your portfolio. Check with your advisor. Boom bang pow. An eye-grabbing headline has sent shockwaves across Wall Street, setting the financial circuits ablaze. The news? NVIDIA is predicted to have yet another stellar quarter amidst a tidal wave of artificial intelligence spending. Tech firms are in a frenzy, pushing their investments into AI hardware to unprecedented heights. Big names? We've got them. Foxconn, Supermicro, and NVIDIA itself. With NVIDIA's Q2 earnings report just around the corner, it seems the chipmaker's momentum is not just a wave, but a tsunami. But what lies beneath the surface of this financial spectacle? Let's dive right into it. But before we do it, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our Twitter account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. That said, Back to the video. Another batch of positive economic data dr helping drive another day of gains for stocks. For more on the markets, we're joined by Aaron Brown, PIMCO Portfolio Manager. Aaron, it is fantastic to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, so let's talk about this now co comeback of optimism to the market here. Do you still expect some volatility going forward, or does it feel like things have sort of stabilized? I think for the very short term, things have stabilized. We've gotten a slew of data that's been better than expected, particularly after the payroll print, which really sent market into the downward um, price action that we saw. Since then, the data that's come out has all been suggestive of the fact that the economy is growing but slowing and that the Fed is on pace to cut rates starting in September at a quarterly pace of 25 basis points. We probably get three cuts this year and another four next year. All of that said, I think as we move into the fall, particularly as we move closer to the election, there is going to be more bouts of volatility. I would say that as an investor, I would fade those bouts of volatility unless we start to see the economy really sliding towards a recession. But for now, the economy seems to be on track to a slowing trend, but still very much in positive territory. As the flood of AI-driven profits washes over NVIDIA's financials, it's clear this isn't your garden variety stock hype. The frenzy started when Matt Bryson, Wedbush's senior VP of equity research, blew the whistle. Just what is fueling this, you might wonder? It's the relentless pouring of money into AI chips, the very lifeblood of today's tech infrastructure. If you're navigating the stock market like a captain steering through stormy seas, NVIDIA is that golden lighthouse guiding you to shore. But hold up. Let's not gallop away on the first horse we see. Take Foxconn, for example. Once thought of as merely a manufacturing giant, they've seen their profits rise 6% last quarter thanks to their AI servers. Foxconn's profits seem like athletic sprinters on energy drinks, not slowing down anytime soon. And then there's Supermicro. They didn't just meet their revenue estimates last quarter. They beat them soundly despite missing on earnings. It's like they missed one free throw, but then dunked from midcourt just to show off. Indeed, the data paints a vivid picture. This isn't just ticker tape talking. It's hard facts and numbers. Stats don't lie. NVIDIA, with their cutting-edge AI chips, stands at the heart of these monumental gains, making them a linchpin in the tech ecosystem. 
Various reports suggest that companies are still in the early stages of their AI hardware investments. It's like the starting gun just fired, and everyone's sprinting with NVIDIA in the lead. And about that hedonistic stock sell-off, Bryson had some astute comments on this spree-induced illusion. He noted that the momentary hesitation stemmed from concerns about potential hiccups with NVIDIA's upcoming Blackwell GPU. But could the initial uncertainty surrounding NVIDIA's upcoming Blackwell GPU, akin to fretting over an overcooked roast at a grand feast, truly hinder the company's lead in the AI hardware race, or is it merely a fleeting concern in the face of their unwavering dominance? Let's break this down. Hello everyone and welcome back to Investocracy. So one of the things I think we've heard about as investors have taken some profits in technology stocks and certainly in stocks like NVIDIA is they've heard from these other technology companies, uh, the big ones that are actually spending a lot of money on NVIDIA chips. Uh, and they've had a lot of conference call questions about, you know, is that spending going to pay off? Uh, do you need to be doing all that spending? And it almost felt like all of a sudden people were like, oh gosh, you know, the chip business is a cyclical one. And maybe NVIDIA with that big lead was ready to uh, be uh, first out the gate. But, but what if these other companies have to pull back on some of that spending? Uh, is that going to impact NVIDIA? Is that going to impact the stock? How are you thinking about that? I mean, we just got back from Asia and we'll be there again in the next few weeks. It's unlike anything I've seen in 25 years covering tech. In terms of this fourth industrial revolution playing out, and look, they're the only game in town. AMD, Lisa Su, they'll also benefit here. But we're talking about a trillion dollars of capex that's gonna be spent AI. AI. I think fighting that is just a tough battle, especially in a soft landing environment where we think tech stocks continue to move higher, including NVIDIA. Imagine preparing a lavish feast only to worry whether the roast might overcook. But guess what? NVIDIA's staunch patrons had no time for such trifles. Their commitment to AI spending remains unfaltering, quite like a Shakespearean prologue, full of sound and fury but signifying meaningful gains. Bryson's talking points strike a chord with AI's deeper penetration into personal devices, making AI less of an esoteric ambition and more of a household staple. Such devices will need, you guessed it, more AI chips. A rising demand curve seems to be approaching NVIDIA's sky-high aspirations, turning wild dreams into achievable milestones. Crucially, even the delays in Blackwell's release mean zilch in the grand scheme. What matters is the unwavering investment commitment from NVIDIA's clientele. Bryson quips, everyone is committed to spending on AI through the Blackwell launch, so you got another year plus of elevated AI spend. In layman's terms, this ride isn't stopping anytime soon. NVIDIA's consistent streak of beat and raise quarters paints a picture of unwavering robustness. In case you're skeptical, just consider NVIDIA's meteoric 3,021% stock increase over the past five years. That's not just a lucky windfall, it's strategic growth fueled by solid fundamentals. Of course, some analysts bring up fair points like Meta, Alphabet, and Amazon working on their own chips. It's like a Game of Thrones episode. Everyone is vying for the throne, but the kingpin remains unthreatened. These giants may be diversifying, but NVIDIA's proven track record and market trust set them apart as the prevailing ruler in this AI-infused saga. All these data points lead us to a certain, exhilarating conclusion. NVIDIA isn't just another tech stock having its moment in the sun. It's a cornerstone of the AI revolution, holding the keys to a future brimming with possibilities. The narrative seems to be one of unceasing growth, unparalleled innovation, and unerring consumer trust. But what does it mean for NVIDIA stock investors? The answer is easy. But before going through it, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. One of the other areas that you like that I honestly have not heard people talk about a lot uh, in a while is the Kospi, which is the Korean uh, stock market. It hasn't done much this year, much of anything. Um, so what do you think would change that? Sure. So I think one of the things that's been holding back the Kospi is the fact that it is about 13 percent of the weight is in the EV sector. And we've seen that come under a lot of pressure over the last year or so, particularly over the last six months. However, the majority of the Kospi, about a third of it, is in the semiconductor chip 
uh, sector that is very much levered to the AI theme. And historically, you actually see the Cosby trade pretty closely correlated with tech and with AI. It's decoupled over the last year and a half, but we think that that's likely unjustified. And I think that going forward, you're actually going to see an accelerated move to the upside in the Cosby, particularly now that we've seen a lot of these EV names get bought up bottom out. And so it's a name that we think is cheap. They're doing a lot in terms of the value up proposition, in terms of corporate reform, which is not yet being rewarded by the market overall. And we think that there's a lot of potential for positive earnings momentum coming out of the Korean stocks, particularly out of the tech sector, which we think right now is very undervalued relative to how this tech sector is trading in the U.S. As we wrap up this compelling tale of AI ascendancy, and NVIDIA's market dominance. Consider this, investing in NVIDIA now might just be the smartest move you make. With the AI market booming and tech firms still in the early stages of their massive hardware investments, NVIDIA's future shines brighter than ever. Who doesn't want to be part of this exhilarating journey? Currently, NVIDIA stands like a colossus in the stock market, with forecasts predicting continued growth. All indicators suggest that NVIDIA is poised to deliver yet another awe-inspiring quarterly performance. From Foxconn's AI-driven earnings surge to Supermicro's revenue beat, the writing's on the wall. NVIDIA is not slowing down. It's like holding a winning lottery ticket. NVIDIA's present and future appear laden with golden opportunities. But don't just take our word for it. What do you think about NVIDIA's unstoppable run? Could this be the investment windfall you've been waiting for? Share your thoughts and let's navigate this exciting financial odyssey together. Now, back to you. Have you contemplated diving into NVIDIA's promising stock? What's your take on this AI-fueled growth surge? Your career-defining investment might just be one click away. So, why not join the fray? Finally, if you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there!